Hey everyone, welcome to the Solid Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into a complete step-by-step -step guide for editing with Wondershare Filmora 14. Whether you're a beginner or more advanced, this full course covers everything you need to know from A to Z. We'll go over all the features and tools for professional video editing, and I'll share some advanced tips, tricks, and techniques to help you get the most out of Filmora 14. We've really gone deep in this tutorial, you won't believe how detailed we've gotten. From AI-powered tools to all the other editing features, we'll walk you through everything in a simple, easy-to-follow way. This course is broken down into 20 chapters, so you'll get a comprehensive understanding of the software. Let's explore Chapter 12 in detail. In this chapter, we'll cover all of the topics you see listed on the screen right now. In this video, let's explore how to use the drawing tools to design and animate shapes like a pro. To get started, head over to the toolbar and click on the drawing tool. Inside this you'll find four shape tools, rectangle, arrow, ellipse, and triangle. Let's go through them one by one. First I'll click on the rectangle tool. Then in the preview window, I click and drag with the left mouse button to draw the shape. Now, you can adjust its size and position as needed. In the transform panel you can scale, reposition, or rotate it, just like any other object. You can also round its corners and even flip the shape from this menu. Next, under the fill section, you can customize the shape's color. Choose both the start and end colors and adjust the fill style. Then move to the border settings, where you can tweak the border's thickness and blur. To add depth, enable the drop shadow toggle. Pick a shadow type. Set the angle, select a color, and adjust the distance, blur, and opacity for the shadow. You can even animate these shapes. To do that, move the playhead, and add a transform keyframe. Then move the playhead again and add another keyframe. Between these keyframes, you can animate the scale by adjusting the X and Y values, either together or independently. You can also animate position and rotation the same way. All these animations, scale, position and rotation, can work together within the same keyframes. If you want to use preset animations instead of manual ones, right-click the shape on the timeline and clear the existing keyframes. Then go to the Animation tab and apply any preset with a single click. You can also move keyframes to change the timing and flow of the animation. Of 
Want to try something different? Switch to the Preset Motions Legacy section and apply those animations too. Again, just one click applies the motion. Now let's move on to the arrow tool. Drawing an arrow works exactly the same way. Double click it on the timeline to open its settings, where you can edit everything just like before. For more precision while editing, enable show safe zone and ruler from the display settings. This helps align and measure your shapes accurately. I'll add some ruler lines to demonstrate how helpful they are during editing. Once again, all the editing and animation options are exactly like the previous shapes. Next I'll use the ellipse tool to draw a circular shape. Once again, all the editing and animation options are exactly like the previous shapes. You can also adjust the duration of each shape directly on the timeline by dragging their edges to shorten or extend them. Finally I'll click the triangle tool and draw a triangle on the preview screen. You can edit its color, apply animations, and adjust the duration just like the others. So that's how you use all the drawing tools in Filmora 14 to create, customize, and animate shapes. Stay tuned for more episodes in this complete tutorial series.